Hello everyone. Today is a good day. It is F-18 uh, file release day. So it is the day. Um, this is V-2. Um, let me just show you around her a little bit. We're getting weather coming in. It's coming in, uh, it's gonna rain. You can see, look how clean. Everything's good. There used to be a hole here. Patch that. Um, oh yeah, gaps. Let's look at some gaps, guys. Good gap. I think it's perfect. That it just it allows like for no no issues with like um uh you know just clearance issues for the the lay person. Oop, what happened? I thought I just heard a an ESC beep and that is never good. <laughs> um all right, I'm just going to get some quick flights in uh because it is release day. I want to get just a couple good flights and uh, just make sure everything feels good. <laughs> Guys, seriously. V2, five clicks of trim. Birds go crazy when I'm here. I don't know. I don't know why. Just a couple clicks of trim needed. Oh, this thing's so good. No sunglasses today, so it's a better day. So guys, this is uh, this is half throttle here, and we have uh, 10 mile an hour, 12 mile an hour wind sustained. I can't get away from wind. I just want to fly this thing in the uh, in the calm conditions, and it's just not letting me. Oh, it's so good. Well, she's doing everything right, guys. Trying to keep it in close for you here. The wind slowed down so I can do stuff like this. <laughs> uh, the wind's pushing her now. Now the wind's coming back. This is the direction of the wind. So F-18, I do remember that. They're a little susceptible to, uh, to crosswinds because they got those two big big tails. What's so nice about the F-18 is having, oh, here comes the wind, Jesus. Um, you know what, I'm gonna land this real quick. Uh, what's so nice about the F-18 is the fact that the, uh, the full flying tails are, um, oh man, I overshot. The full flying tails are underneath the main wing, so it's got its own airflow. You don't have any spillover, well, very little. Very little spillover causing any turbulence or vortices or anything like that, so. I'm still, all right, I'm just gonna put it down like this. A Little bit crosswind. Look at that plop landing, yes. Successful wave to everyone with the tailorons. Yes, 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 yes. Um, <laughs> I'm so happy. This is such a this is such a, a nice feeling to have <clears throat> to have like a, a plane that has never flown like obviously it's a carbon copy with improvements of my um, of my my V1 but like like stupid things like um, when I glued in the uh, the full flying tails onto the servo heads the the symmetrical servo heads I didn't even touch them after the initial setup just to like usually i tug on things to make sure that they're they're in place good and uh and i didn't need to do it i just everything everything fits perfect on this thing uh the servos i don't know if you can see that if i'm aiming the camera in the right place but the servos you want them the, the tops of the servos to be basically flush with the uh with the 
with the hips on the fuselage right there, those wide hips. Um, had to make them a little wide to accept the servos next to the fan, the ducting. Um, but um, let's uh, let's do another. Why don't we do another 13, 1300? I actually ordered uh, two more of these 1300s because you know I found I timed my flights from yesterday's video, and I got three and a half minutes, guys. Three and a half minutes on the uh, on the old 13 hundo, and uh, and that is, you know what? I would rather have the lighter weight and and, and more more performance, uh, and and have one less minute. Like I'll, I'll always bring my 2400s uh, to the field, but um, but if you just want to go crazy for for three minutes, three and a half minutes, that's a long time on twin 40s guys this is opening up a lot of opportunities uh the twin 40 system i love i have you can you see them down there can you see them inside i absolutely love these fans they're so good they're so lightweight the escs are are like feathers uh it, it basically adds no no extra weight to the system and uh you guys do some thinking uh of what other planes uh, can utilize my full flying tails and twin 40s. Oh my god, off the stick, not even touching. So, I'm thinking the elusive uh, MiG 29. Uh, I, I never got that thing for sale because I had a, a crash on my first launch and it was just too much printing, too much material, too much, too much hassle. The build was too complicated for with the twin 50s. So you know what guys I, I, the twin 40s is kind of gonna be my niche It's really not it's really not that much more money uh, For what you're getting I mean just spend the money on it and Spend the money on it and You, you can reprint the airframe for almost nothing you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't... It doesn't make sense to not, to not go this route. Minimum radius turn. I was watching F-18 air shows to see if I can... Re yep, yep, I did that in the air show. The problem is everything happens much quicker when you're when you're doing the stuff like in real life rather than and like a true uh, air show fashion um what they do in real life it's harder to it's i i give guys a lot of credit that replicate these air shows um oh yeah <laughs> so cool I, I would have to say that f-22s and f-18s are my favorite air show performers let's go up real high Flat spin, flat spin, flat spin, flat spin. Right out towards Air Show Center. You guys, you can time you can time your flat spins and, and come out of them like no problem with this. And I have a, a very, very like comfortable CG right here. So it, it is like, oh God, I don't even. All right, I'm gonna do one more. One more high speed pass here. Turn and burn. I actually don't know. I don't have any wind right now. And I'm coming in way too hot, guys. I'm gonna slow her down a little. Slow her down. I always have bad luck coming in this direction. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing it. I want to come in closer to me. And I can go in more into the wind this way. Plop. Yes, sir. All right. Um, 
yeah this is uh <laughs> that's why i ordered two more 1300s that that was probably three uh three minutes and 45 seconds i would imagine uh, i'm gonna time that one too and i'm gonna set up a timer um so you're gonna get flutter guys if you use my my metal gear from amazon so you can see a little bit of flutter there doesn't doesn't it doesn't affect it i have um i have like countless amounts of flights on uh on on the full flying tail system with f16 gen 2 f16 gen 1 f35 c and now this guy um you got you got no problems with the uh with the uh with the strength with the uh, durability of this full flying tail system uh, you're never gonna have a problem so uh and look at that canopy fitment guys this is the canopy off of of the first one the maverick colored one that i uh, i broke the nose yesterday um so this thing uh this thing is ready to go guys i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna release the files tonight and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna get one more battery in real quick one more 2400 so i'm sure you guys want to see a little more um you know you got to watch before you buy and uh, like i say on all my uh <sighs> Now the only thing I'm a little concerned about is ESC heat. Yeah, they're they're getting smoking hot. I'm just gonna I'm gonna give them a second here. <sighs> they're getting hot in there, so I would I would be patient and give them a little time to cool off. Uh, let me see what, how much time we have on the video. Uh, keep the screen during recording. I'm at 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to chance this. For the sake of YouTube and keeping you guys and not having to edit my video. I, I don't like to edit video. Uh, one take is the only way that my brain works. Um, it takes me long enough to, to upload and to even edit what I have to edit. It's actually really funny. Um, it just takes, you know, I got, I got so much to do in my personal life that like, yeah, it's not a uh, not ideal editing and stuff and doing anything special. I just want to show you guys what you need to see. And let me check the the CG with the 2400. Yeah, you put the 2400 back basically as far as it'll go, and then um, and then you're good with the uh, with the CG on the uh, on the 2400. The 1300 comes forward about three quarters of a battery length. Um, uh, from the from the opening of the canopy is what I'm saying. So it's both are easy to access and uh, and move around. So um, what I'm going to suggest, guys, is this section here where the, where the EDF is, and then the tail, the exhaust section. Print these two sections in four percent gyroid, and then two percent, two percent, two percent, two percent, and then three percent on the wing surfaces. Um, that is going to help you guys a lot. Now you could do it like me. This is 630 grams right now. Um, look at that. Climb out is fantastic, even with a 2400. Um, so uh, this is 630. Oh no, 615. I just weighed it. This is the, the the V2 is lighter. I don't know how it's lighter. I added material. Makes no sense. I guess just the way that I printed everything um i printed it all uh in lighter weight material did i i don't even know i guess because i did two percent gyroid on all of the fuselage pieces and maybe i didn't do that initially um it's just lighter stop it stop it I don't want to go too crazy because I know the ESCs are hot. They're little. I haven't really had any issues with uh, with ESCs, so um, it sounded like it wasn't making power, but it still feels good though. Oops, I guess they're setting off rockets. 
Oh yeah. So the tracking, I have trouble with Spectrum because the gimbal springs are too loose. I need a stiffer spring. I am switching to Radio Master one of these days, guys. Um, but uh, but seriously, the uh, it, it when when you do find center point in the gimbal, um, you you can absolutely do some really nice, perfect air show loops and stuff. Um, I'm just kind of trolling around a little bit just to get more feel. And 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 what the craziest thing, guys, that you're gonna get out of this is I have no expo and I have no rate change on anything. I have 100% rates and I have uh, zero expo on anything. So I am going to, uh, you know what? I, I, I should really just let the ESCs cool a little bit, but I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna do one more battery after this, all right? I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna bring it in. And this thing glides so long, I have I've gone around like six times. Here we go. Now we're good. Perfect. All right, so uh, that is basically everything with this one. Um, if there's anything else that I can think of before beforehand, I will release the video and I release the uh, the files later today. And uh, if I can think of anything, I'm gonna put on the Colts listing. And you guys can uh, get it from there. Oh God, that's good. Grab it. Where is it? Where's the rocket? <laughs> I have no warning on that one. Um, this is ready to go, guys. So uh, it's a, a. I can't say enough about it. This is this is a new. This is the new Kyle's favorite. The the J10 has been has lost its crown, and the uh, the F18 Super Hornet. Kyle style, two servos, two twin 40 millimeters. Uh, doesn't get any better than this, guys. 615 grams, all up flying weight with a 1300. Um, seriously, you cannot, you really can't do better than that. Um, I hope you guys like this thing. I'm trying to think of some kind of a, of a bonus for you guys. If you, let me think. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it in the video. If you guys buy my F-18 and you post a video, it, it, that's gotta be a hand, like, it's easy to hand launch. So it, it has to be hand launched and you just have to have a good flight. Tag me in it, post it on, on, on the three groups. There's Kyle's Designs, Facebook. There's 3D printed airplanes or 3D printed RC airplanes. And then there's uh, 3D printed pilots. Th those are the those are the two big ones, and then and then my group too. Um, if you guys post a video, uh, a flight video of the F-18, you get a free design of mine, and uh, I'll email it to you. So uh, post that video, tag me in it, and we'll exchange emails, and you get a free design. Get an Su-47. Get a Dagger One. Get whatever you want, and you know anything interchangeable with the twin 40s or whatever else. F-16 XL, Schmiggen whatever you guys want free design uh so thank you guys for watching the video and uh i will i will see you guys on the next one i am excited to show you the next uh the next plane coming up soon so uh stay tuned